a monumental waste of time and talent. One of the worst films of year. Yes, I agree. Hello everyone, uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Salome here. Uh, today is Friday, so uh, traditionally I'm here to talk about a uh, film or films that I have watched recently and today is no exception. Um, although I don't know why I watched this film <laughs> that I'm gonna talk about because it ain't good. It ain't good. I'm gonna just say a disclaimer. Today it's gonna be a short video. I usually make short videos about films that I don't particularly like because I don't like to say a lot of um, uh, discouraging uh, words about a film because genuinely and wholeheartedly I support all filmmakers uh, because I know how difficult it is to make a film uh, that your heart desires because a lot of things may go wrong. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, Amsterdam, not the, the city Amsterdam, which I really love, but the film Amsterdam made by David O. Russell. He is the director, he is the writer, he is, I think, the producer. Uh, I'm holding my laptop um, in my hand just not to forget uh, the names and um, details about the film. It was released in 2022, so it's a very recent film and it is packed with celebrities like Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, Taylor Swift. Wh why? I don't know. Sometimes I feel that David Russell wanted to get as many names as he could, as if the names and the celebrities will do a job for him. I may be wrong, but it definitely seems like it, because there is no real necessity why Taylor Swift was cast as uh, Elizabeth's the, the, the character. Anya or Anya Taylor Joy, who I have to admit I am not a fan of this actress or actor, and John David Washington, who I love, will know. I love John, and um, here he did a wonderful job uh, as well. Uh, however, I think he deserved uh, a bit more complex. Um, character. Rami Malek, who I like, but once again a very mediocre character for him to play. And of course Robert uh, De Niro. David Russell loves to cast uh, Robert De Niro, however I don't think that he really um, delivers what Robert could work with. Uh, so, um, what is the film about? The film is set in uh, 30s um, in uh, America and it follows uh, three friends who witness a murder, become suspects themselves and uncover one of the most outrageous plots in American history. So, uh, as you can read uh, at IMDb, it is uh, based on more or less true facts but, um, you know, I don't really care about um, whether the st story is um, um, real or fiction. I really care whether the story is genuine and authentic as a film uh, and whether it gives me a good cinematic experience. I don't really care much about history. If I want uh, something historical or, you know, um, something about real events. I always watch documentaries and I love documentaries as genre. Uh, but here I don't think that there is anything wrong about using real events. I just think that um, David or Russell here really failed to um, make a good script and it was very poor. It was very poor uh, in terms of dialogues, in terms of performance, because Margot Robbie, I mean, what an actor, Christian Bale, what an actor, and they, in this film, in my opinion, didn't have a lot to work with, and they, when actors don't have uh, a lot to work with, and when director doesn't work with actors enough, they uh, feel uh, the pressure to invent some things on their own, 
And here I have a really big problem because Margot Robbie and Christian Bale start to perform and really act and they, instead of giving their presence, their body presence, they start to act as like theater actors. And this is where everything goes really wrong because they lose their authenticity. I mean, Christian Bale is so bad in here. I don't blame it on Christian because he is a truly wonderful actor, actor. I blame it on the director because somehow Christian Bale acts like the parody of Robert De Niro here. His body language and his um, words and speech is so fake. It's like, I, I couldn't help but wonder what is he trying to do? Like, who is he? Is he, uh, is he doing a parody of Robert De Niro or what the fuck? Mr. Bale, we know that you should be here and somehow you are like here. Uh, and I blame it on the script and I blame it on the director because he really fails to make this story catching. I was truly bored. And what a shame, because you have such wonderful actors and you have not only wonderful actors, but famous actors. And you know you will have viewers because Margot's fans, um, Taylor Joy's fans, Jones fans, even Taylor Swift fans w would watch this film, right? So you have nothing to give them. I, 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 I think that David Russell had the um, time, money and talent to create something more... Um, how to say, worth our attention at least, however he failed. Uh, David or Russell, in my opinion, is not a very bad director. I think I, I enjoyed his uh, film Silver Lining Playbook and also American Hustle. And if you compare American Hustle to Amsterdam, they I I intentionally and like in, in the idea mentally, I see a lot of similarities, but in the execution, American Hustle has real charisma. And there, Amy Adams, Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, you know, Christian Bale, they have a lot more complex characters, characters to work with. And therefore that film is of course more successful and it's, it's a real hustle. I mean, when I watched American Hustle, I, watched it in the end and I was intrigued by the story and intrigued by the characters, by their mm, movement, by, by their uh, stories uh, and what they had to say. And in Amsterdam, I was like, oh my God, when will it end? Because the story is so flat. The characters are so flat. There is no hustle, no, no thriller. However, it says it's a comedy, thriller, drama. It's nothing of this kind. It's a really bad film. It is what it is, guys. Let's just be honest. It is a bad film. And I made a mistake. And after Amsterdam, I, I watched um, Yasuziro Ozu's, um, I think it was Tokyo Story or Late uh, Autumn. And I was like, oh my God, David or Russell, what the fuck are you doing? It's not a film, dude. <laughs> of course, you cannot compare these two, but I, it, it was just my personal experience. Guys, the film is very subjective, so if you are a fan of David o. Russell, please enjoy him. If you like Amsterdam, it's good for you, you know, it's your choice. But I think that... What a waste. I, and I, I always think about, you know, like actors... Uh, what is their thought process when they read such script? I, I mean, what are they intending to do? Because they can do so many more interesting projects. What was like Christian Bale's motivation to do this film or Margot Robbie's motivation to do this film? I will never ever understand. I don't know. I mean, if I was um, a young actor starting my career, of course I would like um, say yes to David o. Russell. He, he he's a, a well-known director, American director. Uh, but at this point, uh, do they need to have this film on their portfolio? I don't know. I don't know. It's just you know, it's just my thoughts, and I'm just thinking out loud. 
but yeah overall i don't think that this film it, it receives any awards um should receive any awards mm. of course everyone should film and watch films that they want to but uh i think it's one of the uh worst films in 2022 and um deserve um way more from um directors like David Russell because I, th I think he has clearly a potential so you know, why waste it? I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend and hopefully I will have a better film to talk about next Friday.